Hi everybody, this is Pramita here and I am back with uh, the ephemera to show you how I am working on the ephemera part. So I'm going to move my camera a little tiny bit so that you get a better view. I don't know if that's, um, you know, if that's working at all. So let me move this. Okay. So this is the pile that I have uh, with me. And I know you can't see this properly, so let me bring the camera down a little bit. So this is the huge pile that I have of papers, um, die cuts and all sorts of things in the bluish theme. Now, um, I know this might seem pretty random because I'm working with a paper pack, uh, which does not come with tags, journaling cards as such so you have to be a little bit creative to you know put things together so uh, these are all basically as you can see all scraps that I have in the bluish theme so I, I, I keep them sorted like this so that whenever I am uh, you know I'm making something I don't know if this is visible so if I'm making something uh, in this bluish kind of theme I can just dig into this and use this up so uh, in the meantime I'm going to show you what I've done I have made two piles two bundles uh, to go with you know uh, one with the stamp area papers and one uh, without the stamp area papers so um, I might make another one because there's enough uh, paper from this paper pack the one that I showed in the morning yeah so this is, uh, I do have enough paper to make ephemera and um, another journal maybe. But right now I'm sticking to only one, so I'm not sure. So uh, let's see what happens. So what I'm going to take you along is, these are a bunch of offcuts from the stamp area paper as well as some from the, you know, the paper pack. But that's very little because uh, that was in a 10, 10 by 10 size. So obviously I didn't have much of cuts, um, sorry, <laughs> and uh, I do have some leftover of cuts from previous uh, papers that I had used. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how I sort through this and um, and how you can even use your covers, um, you know, the paper pack covers that come. So this was one of the stamp area papers that I was using. Uh, this is New England, I think. And these are the strips that I'm left with. And I'm going to make use of these. Uh, I'm going to cut these out and uh, make them into tags. And, uh, you know, add some lace trimmings and stuff like that. So I'm going to work on that. So I'm going to make two piles. One for uh, the things that I'm definitely going to use. And some things which I'm not sure whether I'll be using or not. So this is something which I'm definitely going to use as an ephemera part. So uh, this is another, you know, the negative part after I have um, cut out some die cuts out of this. So I'm not sure whether I'll be using this. So of course that's going to go into a separate pile. Uh, this looks really horrible. Uh, but that's how things are, you know, you, you have to deal with this. So, um, again, I have these, um, you know, die cuts that came with the stamp area papers and I'm going to, of course, use them. Again, this is also something which I'm going to use. So, uh, I'm just going to sort things out which I'm definitely going to use. And uh, they will make their way into the journals. So, I'm going to uh, sort through this. So, this is the major part. Uh, like this one, I have not even bothered to cut out the, you know, the tags or the labels or whatever. I can use them. And I also have this, I don't know. I also have this, life was made for moments like this. This, this is, I'm sure, is from Kaiser Craft. I'm going to use that. Uh, of course, I can use this word vintage. And I'm not going to use this. So maybe I'm going to use this. Uh, so top portion is something that is going to be used in layering 
or uh, maybe collaging, uh, not as a whole. So that's that part is that. And these are some things that are going to be used as whole. So this is a bird pocket. This is a scrap piece that I can use. Um, so here is the word vintage that I can use. Uh, this is a die cut that I can use. Uh, I'm not not sure about using this. So I have this. So as you can see, it's a random process that I'm going through. And um, there's no rhyme or reason to this. Sorry, something must have fallen off. Maybe we'll see later on. Okay. Uh, and this is something I can use in collage. This is another journal card. Uh, this can be made into booklets, you know, longer strips of paper. Maybe into tiny ephemera holders, notepads, something. This I have cut out from uh, my die cutting uh, machine. I have a die with this small, uh, you know, jelly, jelly bean uh, sort of uh, pocket. So I have that. I can use some tissue paper, some envelope. I have this sticker sheet this is also in shades of blue as you can see and I might use that so this is a scrap piece this is another postcard so I can use that um, this is as you can see lots of uh, papers uh, so I don't think I'll have any dearth of uh, ephemera for ephemera and pockets for these two journals I have plenty uh, that I can use you know and if I need I can make some so here are some tags that I need to you know cut them out and ink them and stuff like that so I'm not worried about those so this is some stamp ephemera that I had okay this is from Tim Holtz I can use that um, here I had made some pocket which had gone wrong I mean, I didn't, I didn't use it if eventually, and uh, this has a belly band sort of thing. So I might, uh, you know, cut out from this portion and use it somewhere. So I'm going to use, keep that, and then more cutoffs, more ephemera. So you can see there's plenty of ephemera that I can use that are ready to go into the journals so like this one I have not even uh, bothered to cut it out and ink it and so and there's I can use that there's a paint chip which I can use you know alter it and use it so that's that there's another scrap piece that I have here is another um, large piece of paper that I can use here is another one um, here is a journal card that I can use again some tags from the cover you can harvest the cover also again some tags as you can see uh, that I have not used and that can be used you know uh, that can be used very nicely and also some more tags that I need to cut and as you can see there's plenty some tickets that I can use um, then there are some more uh, ephemera these are all cut apart sheets from the pa blue paper packs that I had used from stamp area the covers so I can use that and then again there's another tag so you can see this it's the pile is growing uh, you know I have no worries about that I can make comfortably make um, pockets and tuck spots and stuff like that so I need not worry so and here I have some die cuts remember I had talked about how this sheet came with a pack of die cuts uh, two die cut sheets it says 
and I have um, you know used those die cuts in other journals also and I also have some over here the die cuts are pretty good like this one the circle sorry circle then you have this uh, wishing you something smile uh, these are the die cuts and they have this gold foiling in them and uh, they can be used you know in collages so I'm planning on doing that so um, basically I've sorted out whatever I can use uh, trim and cut and make and then uh, comes the next part as to what I'm going well, what and where I'm going to put as pockets and which ones I'm going to make as ephemera so uh, the next part will be how I trim after I trim down everything um, I will come back and show you which are the ones that I'm going to uh, use as ephemera. Now the cover part I do towards the end because um, I tend to you know add too many things into my journal so the cover always falls short you know so I tend to do it towards the end so that I don't have to do and redo again uh, it's it's a tedious process and uh, so the next thing is that I'm going to trim the um, you know I'm going to cut out the tags and all that's going to be a boring process so you won't be interested in watching that of course uh, I'll cut those down and I'll see how much ephemera I can um, bring from these uh, packs you know and then how much I can make uh, as pockets and then I'm going to show you how I am thinking uh, of uh, doing the pockets or the journal cards and then I'll maybe I'll do some collages and stuff like that so that will be the next part so don't go anywhere I'll come back and I'll show you how I have worked around these and then you'll have a brief idea of what I'm planning on doing so bye everybody thank you for watching but don't go I'll be coming back in the same part to show you what I've been up to so bye Hi everybody, so this is Pramita here and remember we were doing the journal, um, you know, process uh, that how I work through journals and uh, we we had gone through the blue uh, journal stash, uh, you know, the items that I had and I'm just going to show you that I've sorted through that and uh, I do have quite a few things over here and um, that I can use and I'm going to show you even before I start layering things up on either journal cards or uh, pockets I do have a few things that I keep in mind so I create some snippets that I can use in my journals so uh, there are many people doing snippets and uh, some there are tutorials uh, better than mine of course and um, I it's just that how I do it so um, either you can create some random snippets and then add them to your journal uh, pockets and stuff like that or you can make it more or less color coordinated so I prefer the second type because I had uh, talked about how I don't pre-make stuff I just go along the flow or I would rather say uh, I just uh, do whatever I require at that point of time I don't pre-make things much um, much but sometimes I do do uh, things like um, you know collage papers and stuff like that but that's a rare occasion so uh, that's only when I'm trying to downsize some of the scraps that I have so uh, today we are going to do the snippets that how I go about it and then how I'm going to add some extra elements to go with the you know with the pockets and uh, journal cards and stuff like that so I'm going to show you how I do that so let's begin okay so the thing is that I have my um, I have my uh, die cut knees over here and uh, and I have sorted through all these and uh, like this one I can make this into a book a tiny booklet sort of thing so, um, so I can add a closure uh, so I can add a closure like this 
okay and I'm going to decorate this slightly so even before I start doing that I'm going to separate the actual die cuts from the um, you know the ephemera part so I'm going to move these aside and show you how I have made these you know these are basically done as you can see and I wonder how everybody is doing because I just finished a mini journal Christmas journal and um, I don't know if I'm going to make any more um, but I've put up a custom listing so if I get an order of course I'm going to do that um, so here I have some elements that I'm separating uh, like this one is already done so I can make this into a um, you know a side tuck sort of thing so I can add that I'm not going to do anything to this anymore so you have to decide when to stop that is another big thing that we don't always do so here are the ephemera part this you can see and I have um, taken everything sort of apart from the pages that when that needed to be cut down and stuff like that so I have these which will eventually go in as pockets these will eventually make their way as pockets and I'll show you how I decorate these so um, right now we're going to work only on the pockets and I don't know if this is if I'm in frame or not so um, so let me show you how I do stuff. Now I am not going to ink everything up in this journal, but um, inking will come later on. So what I'm going to do is I have a die cut uh, stash also, whereby um, you know I have some embossed papers, some embossed cards that I can use. Okay, so I'm going to move these aside. Some doilies. Uh, that I'm not going to use okay so here what I'm going to do is I have this uh, doily die cut and I can layer this up like so okay and I can put some um, some paper sort of thing maybe something a little bit craft colored or a music sheet I have to dig into my stash uh, and see what will work best. So let me see what will work best. So I have this music paper strip that I can work with. So I'm going to tear this up and I'm going to layer this over here. Of course I'm going to ink this up because I don't like this white stuff. And um, I'm using my vintage photo but sometimes I do use um, other colors but here I'm using vintage photo because this is I'm just trying to bring another color as an extra element otherwise it's not going to stand out so this is going to be like so so if my pocket is like this and I'm going to place this like so okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another dark something very dark so one thing I can do is I don't want to uh, use up that rose bit so I can put this over here and I can put this over here okay and then I can put a die cut so what kind of die cut I can use is um, I I can later on go back and punch some uh, flowers and you know like this no I don't like this so I'm going to dig into my stash of I don't know if you can see this uh, I have uh, cut out some dies to be used in this um, journal and I can use these so I think they're going to look nice um, some flowers I know this looks like a mess but I want to keep everything in place that's the idea so I can 
the bees like so, you know, and arrange them like this. No. So I'm going to put this over here and I can put something like this. This is a really boring, boring stuff, you know, uh, you, most of you would be bored to death and I'm not a very big talker so I can't be a big entertain, uh, I can't be, you know, be able to entertain you too much. So this is going to look like this maybe. So this is going to look like this. So I'm going to work on these pockets and show you how I go about it. And some will have the stitched effect, some will not have the stitched effect and I'm not worried about that. So I'm going to just snip off um, this doily. I need to bring my glue stick. Okay. Um, just a minute. Let me bring my glue stick. Such a disorganized person I am. stick and my you know thin uh, the nozzled glue stuff and I don't want this to be too much into the background um, like I want this part um, this part so I think I'm going to first slice up the necessary thing and then I'm going to ink up sorry guys this is so random I can't find my scissors. <laughs> so, this is a huge mess. I shouldn't have done this. Come on. Uh, so this is how I'm going to trim this off. Now this is just eyeballing. I am. I'm a mess, guys. Um, I had been working two days straight on making journals. And I just re made the mini journal and the mini journal turned out so well. I plan on doing some more Christmas journals, but I'm not sure, you know, by, like I don't want to make stuff and then <laughs> not get, things don't get sold, then it's just a waste of time. So I'm going to lay this like so. I don't know if you can see it. Just a huge mess. So I am going to um, lay this like so. Okay, and then I'm going to add the layers. So let me glue this up. And if I'm having some, something of this big, then obviously I use um, glue stick. But if it has intricate, um, you know, thingies, then of course I don't. And I'm going to use this to glue, use the glue. And yeah, so the glue is pretty gooey type. And I'm not a big fan of stuff like this. I hate to put things like this on my fingers. So it's going to be like this. And I need to have some wet wipes because I can't stand uh, having fingers all gooey and gooey and things like that so I am going to clean this up now I can take this a little bit higher because I don't want this okay so now you can see that I've layered this up and now I'm going to put the music sheet now where did I keep it come on um uh, seems have lost it no it's here so I can put it over here and I'm going to put that there
and I don't know about you people but I just as I said I'm not much of a talker I I don't I'm not a big con conversationalist you can say I I'm a more silent type person and but you know when you're on YouTube and social media people ask you to do stuff and then oh my god ah, I just can't get my head around this ideas you know like how do I do that like so this is kind of how it's taking shape and I don't know if this is making sense at all um, now I can put some now I don't have any focal point over here as you can see so I would require some focal points so I can put this oops my hands are all bluey and they are getting just stuck wherever I am putting my hands so I can put this over here and this over here so I hope this is looking good let me switch on the lights a little bit so that uh, this is going to be a long session so I won't take I, I won't bore you people to death and uh, show every tiny nitty gritty things um, so I'm just going to show you one or two and then I'm going to do them and come back and explain things to you so as you can see I'm going to use some die cuts maybe some lace trims and um, that's going to be one type of pockets that I do another thing is that I create these snippets and keep them and then I can add something to this just to pop them into the journal so I can I'll show you how I make those that's going to be a next part so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the pockets and I'll come back and show you what I've done to them. So bye now and uh, I'll be giving you an update soon. Hi everybody, this is Pramita here and this is going to be the second part in making the uh, blue themed traveler's notebooks that we had started. Uh, I have already filmed this in bits and pieces uh, for the second part and after I go through the this uh, segment I'm going to upload this it's been a hectic uh, hectic week um, for me because um, I started working on Christmas journal uh, thinking that I'm going to make only one and then it went from there to somewhere which is totally um, out of control like some things you know uh, sometimes some things you cannot uh, fathom you can't guess where they will lead to so, uh, but I'm very happy where the things have turned out because I thought I was a jinx, you know, like um, uh, my seasonal journals are all jinxed. Uh, I can never uh, get them on, out on time. I can never get them sold. Um, but hopefully uh, this, <laughs> this is going to change. Um, so let me, let me hope for that. So let me give you an update on what I have done right now. Um, now we had cut out some pockets and pages and stuff like that. Uh, so what I've done is I've just layered some some of the die cuts that I had made uh, using this blue cardstock and uh, some doilies. And uh, I did begin how I start doing these, but then uh, I have not ended the whole. I mean, I've not done the whole segment because it, other it's going to take ages. So um, that's what I'm going to give you a glimpse of. So some of the pockets I have done. This is a negative of the die cut and I have not thrown it because I found that that's interesting too. So you can use it as a layering element. So I've used that and as yes, you can see bits and pieces of laces, uh, cheesecloth, again some stuff that I've layered on. So these, are, these pockets just need to be stitched onto. Uh, but not everything is very complex as you can see this is not a very complex one but I have layered a few things like these butterflies were the only things in the pocket 
and then I've added this die cut that came from the paper pack uh, itself and then I've used some scraps and this is another word that came in the die cut pack so this is another one that I've done so um, so basically I'm halfway through making the pockets you can say and I also have done one of the altered envelopes uh, now stitching is not done and uh, stitching will be done only after I finish all the pockets. Um, I do have left some, some I have left. So um, I will talk about those when I come to that. And this is a CD uh, case holder. So what I've done is I've taken the whole thing apart and then I've trimmed this but I've you know, reinforced the lip so that you can, uh, when you put something in, it doesn't uh, get torn on this side. And um, I've kept the flap intact because I want to tuck this on a page and maybe extend this to make another uh, pocket sort of thing. I, I have not decided that yet. Um, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I won't. I'm not sure. Right now, this is what it is. So that's that. And remember the uh, window pages that I had done um, in my Ephemeris Vintage Garden project. Um, so I'm, going, I'm working on one of those. So this is one of the pages. I'll be having two of these, um, one in each journal. So what I've done is I've just opened up the envelope, window envelope, you know, snipped it open and that became a full sheet. And then I've collaged on top and, uh, but the back is empty. So I want to cover this up. So what I've done is I have used this paper because once again I don't want an empty um, you know I'll show you the difference and you'll know for yourself how it looks so uh, this is how it's looking without the image and when you add an image to it um, it's going to look like this so even if you don't put anything in this pocket because this is going to be a tall pocket uh, or f from side duck whatever it doesn't matter because uh, it will work out fine so maybe I'm going to make this a side pocket this time so um, I need to stitch this now when I'm stitching uh, my sewing machine is very temperamental so very whimsical and moody so it doesn't work always when I glue it down and then I go to stitch that but sometimes it does work and I can't blame it but um, so what I tend to do is if I'm sure that I'm going to glue uh, stitch this then I might not uh, glue it at all I'll just paper clip this and stitch it uh, sometimes uh, that that works out fine because uh, some some people may not like the little bit wonkiness in the stitching but I think that lead you know lends a little bit of character and um, that's what chunk journals are like they are full of characters, they are full of flaws that we are um, embracing, uh, you know, just like humans. We are not flawless. We do have flaws and we accept our loved ones as they are. Uh, we don't judge them. Uh, so junk channels are similar uh, to that. So I have this die cut I plan on using over here. And also, I had a label. Now I have a thing for labels, I'll tell you what. Uh, labels are my jam so what I do is I will try and add a label here I think I think it looks nice over here there it's going to look a little bit cluttered so I'm going to add this label here and uh, finish this and show you how it is coming up to now the back is plain I know but what we can do is we can make some tall pockets to go with that or we can make some pockets we can stencil stamp collage whatever so I'm going to show you how I'm going to finish this page and um, then in the next uh, part I will just uh, you know go through all the elements that I have made um, you know the pockets and the ephemera and uh, how I, I have jazzed them up and walk you through the process because not everything needs to be shown or you know you get the drift daft you know like it, it it's very basic and i i don't do something which nobody has done uh, it's all there <laughs> and uh, if a little bit of explaining can sort out the thing then i don't think um, you need to see it 
all through and what I'm doing right now is I'm just inking up this label a little bit so that it stands out and uh, I do have some label dies that I use um, I I recently I I never thought I'm I'm going to buy a you know die cutting machine but um I don't have money frankly speaking to buy a new one because it's pretty expensive so I'm going to put it over here and I'm using a glue stick but you can use your Fabri-Tac or whatever and um so I didn't think I'll have the money to buy a uh, I mean an I I'm I was sure I I don't have the money to buy a new one so what I did was I bought a second hand one lady was selling hers because she was not using it and uh, one of her friend got to know that I was interested so this one will need some liquid uh, I mean the PVA glue but right now I don't have the PVA glue with me so I'm going to use this uh, glue stick and see how it goes So my neighbors are extremely noisy and sh they're shouting crazily. Ah, this is not going to work, I think. Okay. So I need to use uh, a different glue for this. Let's see. So it's going to stick like this. So I'm going to stitch this whole thing around and I'll be back to show you what I've done okay so hang on don't go anywhere hi so I'm back and I'm just showing you what I have done to this I have backed this up with some white uh, single-sided pattern paper now I don't want to use very thickish kind of paper because that makes the folding difficult and uh, you can use digital papers of course but I had this um, you know extra uh, which went on with this color theme so I'm going to trim off the extra that I have I don't trim it before because sometimes you know it it's better that you do the trimming part after you have stitched so you know how much you need to cut off so I've done that and I'm going to trim off the extra bits over here and explain that how I have made four pockets in this uh, envelope window page so um, the first thing that you do is open up the envelope and then um, you can collage on top you can uh, cut out whole uh, page and alter it you can do that also but I find uh, doing collage is uh, very um, more eclectic I would say and uh, it suits my style so I like that type so that's how I do it and don't worry if it's coming off a little bit I know I'm going to glue it um, so I have finished uh, basically uh, these are some book pages book page uh, uh, you know botanical images that I had in my stash that I have used in the collages um, so no worries about that so what I can do is um, I'll show you what I'm planning on doing. I do have some, you know, some pre-cut dies and stuff like that, which would go in. So what I have done, if you can see properly, I have just stitched along this window, top of this window, and that cre that has created pockets. You know, one pocket over here, and I'll show you another pocket over here so you can put something over here and it works out fine so the same thing is going to go over here side opening so you have something that you can put in and here you can put in a small tag or something I do have smaller tags I need to show you so I have this so um, something of this sort smaller in dimension and you can put it over here and it's pretty deep so your, uh, you know, the width uh, can be small, but lengthwise it's pretty big, half of the page. And what I've done is I've basically stitched through the middle first, so that fixes the paper that that doesn't go anywhere. And then I'm going to fold this. Um, <clears throat> so sometimes you know it doesn't fold properly, but that's okay. Like. 
that's okay so I am going to I had my bone folder lying around here and now I can't see it okay so mm -hmm. so this is the story of my life um, I meant to do this part way before but I'm so sorry that I got caught up in all sorts of commitments you know how it is so I'm just going to um, fold this now you don't have to worry if they don't match up entirely because when you're putting this amidst papers other papers it won't be of a problem so I'm going to just fold this not too hard otherwise your papers are going to crack lightly very gently so this is how your page is looking this is going to be a page of sorts and um, I'm just going to uh, even out the creases a little bit. So what you can do is if you are, um, you know, if you don't have any, I don't know, I can do this also. I can put something like this. This is a CD envelope and this will open up. So you'll have an entry over here and then you'll also have a pocket over here. So I might do that, I don't know, it just came into my mind right now, just popped <laughs> into my mind. But <clears throat> there may be other things, I might do some collage, I might add another piece of paper. If I'm not getting any ideas, I'll just cover it up. So that depends, you know, but I can always go back and add some paper and cover it up. Or I can add some altered envelopes, like so. And... Uh, of course, before I add this, I'm going to uh, cut this uh, you know, all over and then I'm going to stitch it and then this goes, this will go in. So, um, I can do that. So, that's one of the reasons why I have kept it uh, pretty plain because I don't want to cover up all the pages so that, you know, I will have hard time to place these envelopes. Uh, so, these are meant for empty pages so that they pop up. So, I'm going to keep it empty. So I'll be back and show you what I've been up to. Like, um, all I'll come back with all my ephemera finished, all my pockets done, and then we're going to assemble the journal and see how it goes. So thank you everybody for hanging around. Uh, my life had been <laughs> has been crazy, crazily busy, and I don't know when I'm going to be able to upload this. My fingers are filthy because I've been working constantly on Christmas journals. I still have one to finish and I'm, I will be going off to the post office today. So uh, thank you for watching. Bye everybody. Have a great day.